Hey guys, welcome back to Mac React. Today we're going to be getting into the last and final movie of the Fear Street trilogy, 1666. And we're especially excited to see this movie because we've been reading online that it is the fan favorite. So we're really excited for this movie. The last movie, 1978, gave us some answers, but not a whole lot. So we're definitely thinking this last movie is going to wrap everything up and put a neat little bow on it. So we're really excited to see what they do in this movie and if it lives up to the fan hype. Also, the last two movies, we did have fun with them because they were, you know, themed decade movies with like a lot of pop culture references and great music. But I'm interested to see how that's going to change considering there's not a whole lot you can pull from 1666. I'm actually wondering how much of this movie is even going to take place in 1666, seeing as there's still so much from 1994 that has not been resolved yet. Oh, yeah. Like Sam is still possessed. They still have yet to undo the curse. We still don't know how C. Berman has not been killed by the witch in all these years. Oh, yeah. And we still never saw... Um, Josh called that guy who gave him the business card in the jail. Oh, yeah. That has that has never come back up yet either. So I'm assuming that does in this movie as well. Um, the characters from 1994 were in 78, but just a little bit. Right. So I'm thinking in this movie, there might be more of that, of the 94 characters in 1994. Um, so interested to see what they decide to do with that. I think the first two movies also had a lot of humor to them um, to kind of balance out the scares. So I'm wondering if this movie is going to be more of like a true horror film um, or if they're just going to pull music and comedic jokes out of nowhere. just In the 90s <laughs> versions, just yeah. Just because it's a Fear Street movie. Uh, so I'm happy to see that. I wonder if this is going to end with this movie or if it's going to end on a cliffhanger and be like, oh, we might do more Fear Street movies. That, that would be kind of interesting. I would be okay with that. <laughs> All right, guys, we're excited to get into the movie. Thanks for joining us. Let's do it. Fear Street. Fear Street. Part three. So is Dina conscious of herself right now? Like, I don't think so. I think she's just going through what she did that day. Because, mm. like, I think we all assumed from that, like, cliffhanger that she had murdered somebody, but she didn't. Aw. Baby pigs. I'm not marrying Solomon bloody good. That's what you're driving at. She was supposed to marry a good? Oh, it's Kate. Oh, we're gonna drink. She's the same. She's still turning up. <laughs> All right. Good night to enjoy the fruits of the land. Try to clean yourself up and farther. Okay, so they've got a secret thing they do. Yeah. To hang out, maybe. Wait, Pastor Miller. That's the guy who was cutting out kids' eyes. Mm. Oh, no. Sam's there, too. Oh, man. If, if they're still gay in 1666, that might not be good. <laughs> ah, the mom's still horrible. <laughs> She's still horrible in 94. Yeah. <laughs> Is that, is that Tommy? That's Tommy. Wait. What is wrong with him? So his name is the same? Thomas? Not all of them have the same name, though. Right. Isn't that the actor that plays Nick? Sheriff Nick? Mm-hmm. What is a thousand years old? She drinks the blood of virgins to keep her youth. Oh my goodness. It's kind of crazy that they're all trying to do like Irish accents. <laughs> that was a good joke. Berman? Oh. She's not here. Find the barrier. What? Don't steal from her. Oh, these are the things she was seeing. Every time they'd see the witch. Oh, so this is just a drunk party where they go and like yeah, drink and make out. And they make you trip. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. Bro, I would not be trying to... 
eat 1666, those. I ain't shit to do. Not from a, from a stolen, like stolen from a lady. And if you're still so eager, I'm sure there's a mule tied up who will overlook your flaws in the dark. Dang, got him, I think. <laughs> Is that Peter? The dude from the first movie? <laughs> Is that the red fern in her crown? Oh, the red moss? Yeah, oh, thank you. That's the word I was looking for. I feel like they're going to get caught. Oh, she left the crown. Was it... Was it the good guy? I think they're at his house. I got scared. I got very scared. <laughs> So, this isn't Sarah Fear's fault? No. It seems like the curse was already a thing or something. But that's Cyrus Miller. I mean, yeah, oh we know what's God. what's going to happen. It's just, I, I, I assumed it was Sarah Fear's fault, but now it doesn't seem like that. She suspects us, Sarah. She suspects our wickedness. She suspects them, but she brought her to her house. That's not smart. Yeah, right? So is this why they hang her? I don't know. She, I didn't, guess do, she didn't do anything witchy? She didn't do anything. She was just gay? Wrong. Yeah. The babes are gone. No. She hit them all. No. Bring me the axe, Henry. Sarah. The axe. It's coming. It oh God, what's in there? No, it's a dog. It's her dog. That's her dog. This is the world. As darkness grows, within each of us, like a rust. They're like, damn, crazy Tom don't seem so crazy. Yeah, right. <laughs> There's some weird shit going on. Oh man, I have chills. I will say the guy who plays Tom Thomas, mm -hmm. he's getting a lot more like. Screen time. Uh, yeah, in this movie. He's, yeah. he's a lot better. A small thank you. Why does this guy look like Aaron Rodgers to me? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what, what it I is. Thought. I'm like, this guy looks like Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> <With> his... <laughs> Listen to me. She's a good actress. I was gonna say they're actually getting to act in this movie, mm -hmm. and you can tell. In their hand, which you did not do. That is nice of him to say. I mean, for this time period. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come to me, sir. And this is a good. Always open to you. I guess I just view them so poorly because they're part of Sunnyvale. Oh my god, he's taken... He's taken all the kids. It doesn't Henry, where's Henry? Oh no. No! Is that all the eyeballs? No! Oh, it is. Gross. <laughs> Oh my god, no!
Dang, you got him? This is when they blame her. Our dead. Our futures. Many of our entire Oh, it looks like the same shot from 78, yeah. right? At the camp? Yeah. They're letting this dude talk? <laughs> Why are they letting him talk? Because <laughs> he doesn't seem so crazy anymore. Like, this dude's talking some sense now. <laughs> That's not what happened, dude. She was naked. You ride in a red mule. Yes. And the red mule became Crazy Tom's hyped. And she made me watch as she lay with the devil. Because both of them. I would be like, so you kept this information from us till the, now? Till now? <laughs> go! 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 They're gonna kill her? Oh, does she do something to try to save her? Maybe she goes to that lady in the woods. That's what I'm thinking. And she does some kind of deal with her. She's like, yeah, screw it. <laughs> Damn, these people are scarier than the killers. Yeah. <laughs> They're everywhere. Dang, is she gonna sneak right behind him? <laughs> that would be cool. Nice. <laughs> he didn't hear that? <laughs> Maybe he's the same guy who played the, the inept cop in 94. <laughs> Hmm, there it is. Yes. That's some logic. <laughs> then they're gonna get one. She's like shady side, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. We're rooting for the killer in this one. <laughs> I'm rooting for the witch. Let's go. Well, they pushed her to this. She didn't even do anything wrong. All she did was... Make out with a girl. A little TNA. Yeah. Damn, I can't even see anything. <laughs> I'm surprised that the town didn't go after this lady, though. Yeah, for real. Why wouldn't they, like, try to pin the blame on her? Oh. Oh, she's dead. What? Who killed Wait, her? what? Was it Mad Thomas? I don't think it was Thomas. Oh, I wonder if it was oh. him. Oh no. Um, what's... His food didn't look like it went bad. Mm -mm. His food wasn't rotten. And his wife and his kid died? Oh, maybe he tried to bring them back. He made the deal. Oh. That's the cave. It's his house. He was the witch? He was the one. She was like, oh, damn, I came to the wrong house. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's why he said, I believe you so quickly. That's why he asked her, who else knows about this? Mm -hmm. Power, prosperity, legacy. Oh, he got all of that. A single soul. Cyrus. Never. The good family has to do it. They have to put it on to keep it going. Their fortune. I mean, that, that is true. So a good has to put the name on? How do they choose the name? Just, I'm sure they just do it from people from Shadyside. Remember that spot in 78 where there was a bunch of ferns? Something's gonna happen down here. Oh yeah, she's gonna cut off her hand, right? Yeah, but I don't understand why she would cut off... It says that she cut off her wicked hand, but now we know that this wasn't really her doing. 
Is that where the outhouse was? Yeah. That's what I was saying. She's going to do it right here, right? Or she's going to try and get out. Oh. Oh, he cut off her hand. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. <laughs> She's not making it out of here. I don't think she is. Damn, we still have not seen anything from 94. I was just about to say that too. Yeah, we really haven't. Oh my god, girl. Go, 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 go. He is coming. Oh my god, run, girl. Oh, I need you to hurry up and get out of there quicker. Oh, she didn't do anything. She just walked out there to try and be with her. Tell him. Tell him it was him. They won't believe them anyway. I mean, but at least get it out there. So if they were hung at this tree, how did their body, or how does Sarah's body get so far out by the highway? Damn. She's taking the fall? I mean, this happened all the time during these witch trials. Yeah, we know what you did, homie. Yeah, we know. Maybe not tomorrow. But I will. See, they did bury her there. Mm -hmm. Oh. Underneath this tree. They moved her. Aww. Aww. The witch forever lives. Oh, they marked they her They were the walk. ones that did it. <laughs> That's why the fern grows. <laughs> oh, they got me. <laughs> that was very sweet. I will show them what you've done. Hmm. Oh, so that's what she was doing. So she saw all that in like a moment. I don't know. I guess so, yeah. Oh, he's coming. Oh, no. Nineteen ninety four part two. Oh, they're doing part two in the movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, how much does he know? He knows he has to know everything because he has to carve a name into the rock. Every so often. But he's not immortal. We saw him in 1978 as a young man. I know, but his dad was dying and he was like, there's a big legacy to be left to you. Oh, you're right. And it wasn't just Whoa. being a cop. He knows. Oh, he knows. Yes. <laughs> Good is evil. Love it. I think when we first heard his name, I was like, Nick Good? Yeah. I was like, oh, he's not good. <laughs> yes! Let's go. <laughs> he's like, oh, I messed up. Then that person kills and murders. And the devil feeds on this blood of dead she But how does he choose which person becomes the killer? That's what I still don't understand. He just picks? He just picks? Yeah. Name, out, name out of a hat style? <laughs> or phone book? <laughs> mm-hmm. So he reincarnates over and over? So, so Sarah no, it's just people in the family. The they they just, they just get told. They just made it look like him over and over. Hmm. 
Oh no. What happens now? <laughs> She's like, we're fucked, is what happens. <laughs> All of them are coming after them. Oh no. Dude, that thing looks so gross. I'm gonna need it to like go all the way. Can she put as many names as he wants? Just like spam it. Thank you, Kenny, oh no. So that was why she did live, right? Like why she never got killed or anything like that or put back on it. Like because he be liked her. Mm -hmm. That's why he was like, let's talk about something else. Mm -hmm. We need to kill Nick Good. I called him. I thought... I thought he could help. Oh. She britted it! No! She britted she it! She it! <laughs> Even at Fear Street. No! No, 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 no! Sam, Sam, Sam! She let her out. Come on. I think she was just trying to move her, right? Oh. It's the dude. Want to help us kill Sheriff Good? That was perfect delivery. Let me get my coat. Custodial engineer. And then Welcome to the clink, motherfucker. You kill us? Let's go. Oh, they're gonna spray him with blood, and they're gonna attack mm -hmm. him. Would that work, though? That's what I was just thinking, Wouldn't the too? devil be like, no, that's the dude I have to deal with? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need you to stay calm. <laughs> He's, like, freaking out. <laughs> well. Don't die? Not really. They, you can explode them. <laughs> they come back together. Yeah. Uh oh. Try not to die. Oh. <laughs> that was the only advice he had. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's where her sister died. Mhm. Mm because of the. And because of that dude's family, how horrible. Don't worry, Sarah. We're avenging you. Are the Revengers? The Revengers, yeah. He was the one that spray painted all that stuff there? Mm-hmm. To bring back everybody's fear of the witch. I guess so, yeah. To manipulate everyone? Mm-hmm. Aww. I don't know. To survive. Oh. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh my god, I have chills. We're gonna kill this motherfucker. Yes. For Sarah. For Sarah. Yes. Oh, Cindy. All right, another montage of getting <laughs> a plan ready. <laughs> oh, they're going to home alone the place. Home alone it, yeah. Oh, are they going to paint, paint stuff in, like, glow-in-the-dark ink? I think so, yeah, because I saw she had fluorescent lights. Right, and then the spray paint that he was doing didn't show up. Mm -hmm. Yep, there it is, the black lights. There's a song playing through this entire thing, so <laughs> yeah, <we're laughs> no one can hear this. Yeah, <laughs> the song slaps though. Trust me, it definitely does. Psycho's this way, sucking Suck it good. Good. <laughs> good is evil. You listen to me. You don't have any idea. We go, we go, no, no, we go, we go. Like, the <laughs> Classic. <laughs> oh. oh no! We gotta go. <laughs> uh oh. Dang. 
No. Doesn't do shit. Oh, run, bro. <laughs> he just stood there. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. I hope the plan works. Oh my god, if Josh dies, I'm going to be pissed. No, 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 Josh can't die. Oh my god, he's getting awfully close. <laughs> oh no, please let the plan work. Oh my, oh my god, god, I thought he was going to do that too, <laughs> yeah. Dude, I would have done exactly what he did. I would have like held my breath the whole time. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh god, oh god. Oh. Couldn't he just come right through that window? Oh. No, it's the broken god. one. It's the broken one. No, no, no. They didn't know it was broken. It's Tommy. Oh. Ooh. Oh my god, I almost threw up. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Tag, you're it. Nice, she carried him. Mm -hmm. Dang, run, girl, run, run, run. Dang, so no! They will go after him? Oh. Oh, no. She's like, come and get it. Ooh, oh, let's go. Much. <laughs> oh, they got me. Oh, it's the same spot, yeah. So it became... A back corridor in the mall, it was a church in the 1600s, and then it was the mess hall at camp. Mm -hmm. Yes, they'll attack each other. Oh. Smart, distract themselves. What? Nice! <laughs> Let them fight. He's like, no, just more plan A. Is the devil watching all this going down? Like, no, you idiots! <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Sam got away. She might have to kill She's Sam. She's super scary, too. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, not all of them have come out. Yeah. True. Hate that guy. We're too close. Too many people have died, and I'm not letting them take my sister, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is he going to pick up the axe Dang. and start swinging? He's like, I'm Thomas now, bitch. Let's go. <laughs> no. No. She cut Josh. A little help, a little help. She broke his arm. No way. Get off of me. Okay, nice. No. No, 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 no. Oh my god! Dina, do something! She made him touch it? Hmm. Now he's gonna see all of them? Oh, I did not need to see that again. 
Oh my god, I wonder if Sam's gonna be okay, like, instantly. Oh, yay! She had a, a vest on that whole time. Made of books. <laughs> Perfect. Are all the names gone, or are they still there? I think they're they're disappearing. Hmm. Oh, that, wow! There was a bunch of them. <laughs> wow, he had a goat in his office, and it led to his office. Mm. That's how he would get down there. Oh, is that the family tree? Mm. Starting with Solomon. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Yes. Of course you did. <laughs> right. What a bunch of dickheads. She got an interview? No, her dad did. Oh, nice. Oh, things are looking up. He's not drinking. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's giving her her diary back. <laughs> Queen of Darkness. That's who he's been talking to. Oh. He's gonna get the girl! Oh my god. Are they gonna go hang out at Sarah Fear's grave? How cute! Oh, that's so cute that they went back to her little grave. So they could, like, honor the sacrifice she made so many, like, <laughs> hundreds of years ago. Uh-oh. Don't it tell keeps me. It's cutting back. <laughs> I hope it's not going to... And it says, I hope everything's <laughs> all right. Is that the book? Mm-hmm. Oh, I hear a fly. I do, too. Someone picked it up. I knew it was going to end like that or something like that. Bitch, what? <laughs> It was interesting the way they decided to do it with the 1666 part of the movie being the entire like first half of it. It felt like half and half. Yeah, half right? one and then part two. I will say that the 1666 part was probably the most scared I was throughout the entire Tired. three movies. Yeah. Like, I don't know what it, I guess it was like the atmosphere and stuff, but the actors were able to do so much more in the 1666 part, like oh, they yeah. carried the, that part of the movie with their acting, I yeah. felt. And that just added to the tension. Like my hands were like sweaty. Yes, my <laughs> hands were sweaty. I had chills the whole time. But also, you know, another thing is like they didn't have the fun music. So a lot of mm -hmm. it was just like regular folk music. It and felt like a real horror movie. Yeah. And then the lighting was just really dark and creepy and ominous. It was a whole vibe. I thought they did really well, and yes, the acting was spot on. When they switched back to 1994, mm -hmm. I was worried that they were just gonna have to like, wrap it all up in like 10, 15 minutes. But I was surprised that there was like a whole nother half of the movie left. You I know? was surprised too. I literally was thinking the same thing. Like, I was like, oh no, are they gonna try and like wrap it up real quickly? But no, I felt like the pacing was good. I felt mm -hmm. like, we got enough time in the 90s and a lot more time in 1666 than I thought we were getting. They made sure to crack some jokes in the 94 part as well because they were like, we didn't have none of that in the first half of the movie. Well, they tried to crack jokes, but they were so like old timey that it was like, oh, haha, -ha, she called her a whore. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you had also brought up in the last movie, like, why doesn't Ziggy Berman just move away? And I had theorized, oh, there must be something that's like, keeping her in shady side but as we learned like there really was nothing there was no witch curse it was sheriff good doing this all along 
Was she just like a prisoner in her own home or something? Maybe just a prisoner in her own mind. I think that whole scenario, because remember when you, we first watched it, you said, is she like, you know, super OCD with all the clocks? I mean, to be fair, that could be true. She might have like, I don't know, her mental state might not have been great after seeing her whole camp get murdered and her sister. I thought we were going to find some like underlying reason why she can't leave. And it ended up just being like, oh, she doesn't want to. <laughs> well, I remember in the beginning of 78, she did say, what, if you tried to leave Shady Side, you'd probably just get hit by a bus. So that also might have been keeping her there too, is the fear of even trying to leave. You would think that if your town was founded on like a deal with the devil, maybe not leave little breadcrumbs like calling your high school the devils. And the witches. <laughs> I just thought that, that was kind of crazy. Like, Yeah. Oh, Maybe that... don't have a bunch of like goats in your office when you have like a Oh, ton... I can explain that. I can explain that. He had to kill a goat, I think, every time as a sacrifice to put another name on the wall. So to get around like, why are you killing all these goats? Oh, I'm a hunter. I put them on my wall. Oh. You feel me? It was, a, it was a way to be like in the open about it, but also secretive about it. Dude, I wonder who grabbed the book. It could just be a character we don't know yet true but who would have access there what if someone would try to get revenge on all these years or something what if a shady cider made a deal to like fuck over the sunny veilers but sunny veil is already falling down we heard in the news that no like, i think they were kind of like over had like a protective bubble on them or something from bad and now things. now that doesn't protect them from bad things right. i wasn't i don't think it was so much like oh now a bunch of bad things are going to happen to Sunnyvaleers all at once. Yeah. I think it was like, it wasn't even an option for them to have bad things happen. And now that option's on the table. But who would they get revenge on because Nick Good's dead? That's what I'm saying is like, what if some person feels like they want to get back at Sunnyvale for over 300 years worth of injustice? To be fair, it wasn't the Sunnyvaleers that did it. It was the, the Good family. Yeah, but the Sunnyvaleers... Profited yeah, from it. yeah, and they were kind of dicks about it they too. Benef yeah, they benefited. Some of the rules for the killers don't really make a lot of sense to me. Like they're kind of mindless, but then at the same time, it seems like they're not. Like we've seen they're smart enough to like open doors. In '78, Thomas even like broke that window and he put his arm in and he unlocked it oh, from the inside. Yeah, so yeah. they understand. The to a degree, of a door, yeah. But they're stupid enough to be like, "Oh, you have the blood on you! Stab, stab, stab! Let's fight each other!" Like, yeah, how does that make true. sense? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? And if you think, I mean, if you're gonna do a deal with the devil, you better make sure you have some kind of fucking insurance and be like, "If I get a little on me, like they're not gonna come after me, are they?" I just think it comes back to like this this running joke about like making deals with the devil that they're never gonna work out like you think they are yeah i i thought that was pretty funny how they still stabbed him because we even talked about it right before we're like they wouldn't do that right would they yeah <laughs> and then they did it anyway but they even stabbed each other too that's why i was like what yeah that that just seems like a super breach in you know spell security i guess so you say that the devil doesn't really care but i kind of disagree with that he profits from this deal too he gets like the blood of people and he like feeds on it or whatever the fuck sure but you don't know how many other people he's doing this to like how yeah you're how, saying like around the world like yeah how many other deals he's oh making. it's just like one deal of many yeah oh that's what i think huh i will say one part that did kind of disappoint me a little bit and I wish that they hadn't done this. I was afraid that at some point in the movie, it was going to be like friendship heals everything or like love heals. And that's kind of what happened. Sam had Dina on the rope. She was like choking her or something. Oh yeah, that part. I was like, and how she is was she like, gonna... She was like, it's me, it's me. And then she let up for a second, which gave Dina enough time to like throw her and knock her out. That's one of the reasons why I think it might be their ancestors. That's... Or like them reincarnated. Yes, reincarnated. That's, yes. that's what I thought too, but they never really delved into it and we're like yeah that's what this is it maybe, was just kind of like us assuming yeah maybe they just didn't want to like give us all of that along with all the other information so maybe they, they're gonna do more movies as we saw and explain I, it a little more i hope so i'm down to understand this universe a little more i gotta be honest when we started this trilogy i thought it would just be like fun campy horror and stuff but the like mystery aspect of it 
kept me intrigued. Yeah. <laughs> Especially through this movie. Oh my God. I was honestly super excited to watch this movie. I was like, dude, I don't care how late we have to stay up. I want to watch Once it. Once we started getting answers, I was like, oh, okay, damn, let's go. <laughs> it's all coming together. Uh -huh. I definitely think this movie adds to the rewatchability of the other two, considering like now we know so much mm -hmm. and then we could go back and like find more clues and things like that. And then maybe something that'll lead into the future movies. So I'm I'm definitely excited to rewatch these movies. <laughs> yeah. All in all, I do think this one was probably my favorite. Me too. Um, I think it was so good, in fact, that it actually made, like you said, it makes me like the previous two even better. Yeah. I was kind of lukewarm on them, but now I'm like, damn, I kind of want to go back and rewatch them. So. And see what we missed. Yeah. So I kind of I kind of do hope that they pick up with this again. Maybe do another like little trilogy or something. Well, guys, we had a lot of fun watching this trilogy. We hope you enjoyed watching it with us. If you want to see more from us, like and subscribe down below. If there's anything we missed from this movie, I know there probably is, or oh, yeah. like we got something wrong or something, go ahead and leave it down in the comments. Uh, we love hearing from you guys. You know that. And as always, guys, we're going to catch y'all in the next video. Bye, guys. Peace out.